Hello, I'm Jambo. Welcome to Swahili Kingdom. And today in this video, we are learning on five ways of telling someone to wait. Five ways of telling someone to wait and there are three responses of telling someone after they have waited for the time that you are telling them to wait. Then when you come back, how are you going to respond to them? By the way, to wait in Swahili is kungoja and I'm not going to use that in these in these phrases because that that one is the common the common one that is used by everyone someone will tell you ngoja ngoja kungoja to wait so as let's upgrade and learn the five which are not most common and there are three responses when you use this one someone is going to salute you let's start the video The first one, I'm going to start with the slang, okay? Let's be young a little bit, even though we are not young. So I'm going to start with the slang, which is we have tulia. Tulia. I have three phrases for slang, so let's start with tulia. Tulia is like telling someone, hang, hang on, hang on, man, tulia. So that, these slang phrases that I'm, go, I'm telling you, they are used by very young people, so... When you are using them, mind the person you are talking to because someone might, might be seeing that you are disrespecting them but you are not, you are trying to play along with your slang that you have learned. So be careful. Tulia, tulia, hang on. Another one, tulia kiasi, tulia kiasi, hang on a moment because of the word kiasi. Tulia kiasi, hang on a moment. Another one, tegea, tegea, hang on, like hang on and wait for something, something, I will do something for you or something is coming, tegea. So let's now use a sentence. Tulia, tulia, badwa tuja hang on, we are not yet late, hang on, we are not yet late. Many young people here in Kenya are not that good with time. I think it's not even many young people. Many of the Kenyans are not good with time. They um, If you have been here, maybe you know about this. If you tell them we meet at 1, they will come at 2 or at 3. But it's not a bad thing. It's just that that's how we are, some of us. So, to Leah, but to Hang on, we are not yet late. Maria, tulia kiasi ni kunywa maji. Maria, tulia kiasi ni kunywa maji. Maria, hang on a moment, I take some water or I drink water. Maria, tulia kiasi ni kunywa maji. Maria, hang on a moment, I take some water. By the way, I want to tell you about bado. I have used in the previous sentence, bado hatujachelewa. Bado has so many uses, so you can check this video here, suggested here, so that you can know more about Bado. Don't be hanging around just hearing people saying Bado and you don't know what it means in some sentences. Here we have used it as yet, but it also has some other meanings like still. Wait again. Wait again. You wait. You hang on. <laughs> Okay, those three are very slang phrases, so when you are using them, make sure you are talking to the right person when using them so that someone might not find like you are disrespecting them because most of the people like being very formal. Nitakushugulikia muda simrefu. Nitakushugulikia muda simrefu. I'll be right there with you in a moment. If you note, I didn't translate it very directly because when you translate it very directly, it will not bring out the meaning that I want to bring. And the direct one is not used that much. It is not even used, not that much. But when you tell someone, nitakushugulikia muda simrefu, I will help you in a moment. I will help you in a moment. Or I will serve you in a moment. So let's see an example. 
so so let's say this is a client maybe you um you are in a hospital i'm in a hospital and i'm the nurse and there's a client coming maybe an uh, an elder client and he comes and when i see him i say bwana kombo hujambo ushafika tafadhali keti chini nitakushughulikia muda si mrefu Mr. Combo, hi, you have arrived. Please sit down. I will serve you with no time. So that person will see, yeah, that uh, he's important and he is here. In, he is going to be served, even if he's going to wait. So you see, it is very nice, especially in the customer service area when you use that phrase. People will feel important and at least they are being cared for. Bear with me. Subiri tafadhali. Subiri tafadhali. Like for the example that I have just used, uh, that we have, I have just used, you can say, Bwana kombo tafadhali keti. Subiri tafadhali. Mr. Kombo, please sit down. Kindly wait. Very formal and very respectful. You can talk, you can tell it to your, the elder person, to the person who you hold high respect for, and they have come to get your service, and maybe you are busy. Another one, let me see. Let me see. Well, that, uh, that phrase is not formal. That phrase is not formal. So you need to watch out who you are going to use it with. So uh, wacha nione is used when um, someone has asked you a question and you want to think about it before you answer because maybe you, you don't want to just answer anything. You want to think about it or do some research before you answer that question. But wacha nione, as I have said, it is not formal, but it is not bad at all. But if you want to be formal, you can say, Nipe muda nifikirie halafu nitakujibu. Nipe muda nifikirie halafu nitakujibu. It is just the same as saying wacha nione, but wacha nione is not formal. So let's see an example. So here again we have Bona Combo, the client who has come to the hospital and we have Muguzi who is Muguzi is nurse. So Bona Combo asks Muguzi, natakiwa kufanya nini sasa? Nurse, what am I supposed to do now? Then the nurse will answer. Bwana Kombo, nipe muda nifikirie halafu nitakujibu. Nipe muda nifikirie halafu nitakujibu. Or maybe he can say, wacha nione. But maybe Bwana Kombo might not take it very well. Yeah. So you can choose which one to use between those two. Wacha nione or nipe muda nifikiri halafu nitakujibu or nipe dakika moja give me a minute nipe dakika moja give me a minute in all good time in all good time kwa wakati wake kwa wakati wake so this phrase is used when you are indirectly telling someone to wait for the perfect time for the service to be done to him or her Let's see an example and we are still using Bwana Kombo who is the client and Muguzi, the nurse in the hospital. So Bwana Kombo asks the nurse, Muguzi, dawa zangu nazipata sangapi? Muguzi, dawa zangu nazipata sangapi? Nurse, at what time am I getting my medicines? At what time am I getting the, my medicines? And then the nurse answers, Bwana Kombo usiwe na hofu kila kitu kina wakati wake dawa zako utazipata kwa wakati wake Mr Kombo don't worry everything has its own time you will get your medicines in all good time so at least they will be patient waiting they know they will get their medicines in. and now here are the three responses you can use when you have told someone to wait and then they have waited maybe you have taken long and you want to thank them or you want to apologize so here are the three phrases you can use the first one 
Naomba msamaha kwa kuchelewa. Naomba msamaha kwa kuchelewa. I apologize for delaying. I apologize for delaying. For example, Bwana Kombo. Bwana Kombo. Naomba msamaha kwa kuchelewa. Naomba msamaha kwa kuchelewa. Or you can use kwa kukuchelewesha. Kukuchelewesha for delaying you. Kuchelewa delaying kukuchelewesha delaying you the second one asante sana kwa subira asante sana kwa subira thank you so much for the patience so you now know subira is patience asante sana kwa subira thank you so much for patience for the patience or you can say asante sana kwa kungoja thank you so much for waiting or asante sana kwa kusubiri Thank you so much for waiting. Still using Bwana Kombo and Muguzi. Now Muguzi will, will come. Bwana Kombo has waited for the medicines. And now Muguzi, the, Muguzi, the nurse brings the medicines and say, Bwana Kombo, asante sana kwa subira. Ndiyo hizi dawazako. Ndiyo hizi dawazako. Mr. Kombo, thank you so much for the patience. Thank you so much for the patience. Here are your medicines. Here are your medicines. The last one. The last one. And with this one, the third one, I'm also going to give you the slang words that are used there. And with the slang words, make sure you know the person you are talking to, the slang words. Okay? So this third one is, Samahani sana kwa kukufanya usubiri kwa muda mrefu. Samahani sana kwa kukufanya usubiri kwa muda mrefu. I'm so sorry for making you wait for a long time. I'm so sorry for making you wait for a long time. For example, Bwana Kombo and Muguzi. Muguzi comes and tells Bwana Kombo after he has waited for a long time. He comes and tells him, Bwana Kombo, samahani sana kwa kukufanya ungoje kwa muda mrefu. Or samahani sana kwa kukufanya usubiri kwa muda mrefu. Ndiyo hizi hapa dawa zako. Mr. Kombo, I'm so sorry for making you wait for a long time. Here are your medicines. So it is for making you wait for a long time or for keeping you waiting. And the slang, the slang phrases that I have said for this last one, for the three one, Sorry for making you wait for a long time or sorry for keeping you waiting. You can say, Iza ju, nimekuweka. Or, pole kwa kukuweka. Pole kwa kukuweka. Sorry for keeping you for quite a long time. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you have gotten something that is going to help you in your future learning Swahili. And if you have not yet gotten your PDF for this uh, video, make sure you sign up using the link in the description box below and get the PDF for this video. Until next time, bye!